Hail and well made adventurers, I'm your host the Dungeon Master, and I bid thee welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Welcome one and all to Let's Play Chaos Head. Believe it or not, Chaos Head is the first entry in the Science Adventure series, uh, a visual novel series published by Nitro Plus and 5BP. Most of you will be more familiar with the second entry in the Science Adventure series, the visual novel Steinsgate and its follow-up Steinsgate Zero, which I did a let's play of, both of which, sometime last year. But now we're actually going back in time, and not by means of time travel. Because, believe it or not, Chaos Head actually takes place a full year before the events of Steinsgate. Now, even though Chaos Head and Steinsgate are technically considered two different adventures, they do inhabit the same sphere of causality, as it were. There is also a third entry in the series known as Robotic Notes, and uh, you'll notice a theme between Chaos Head, Steinsgate, and Robotics Notes in that both sets of words in each title was basically broken by a semicolon just to make them stand out and also to remind you that they do in fact take place in the same series. Now, uh, very much like Steinsgate, there is some text beneath the title of Chaos Head. If you are God and the delusion becomes reality, about what kind of the noids do you get? Let me read that properly. If you are God and the delusion becomes reality, about what kind of the noids you get? Is it the sensual world, the despotic society, the destructive sanctions, or dot dot dot? Very ominous indeed, much as ominous as the music that is playing through here now, as well as the in background, which is just as ominous, and uh, even more ominously, uh, that caution warning that appeared right before the title screen, Chaos Head is not lying when it says that there is gruesome material that will take place um, in this adventure series. Yeah, this let's play isn't going to be for the faint of heart adventurers. Now why am I doing this? It is because Chaos Head takes place, well, a full year before Steins Gate, making it the first entry in the series, which I just explained. There is also a follow-up known as uh, Chaos Child, which I may get into sometime later. Chaos Child is available on Steam. Chaos Head is not. Chaos Head does not actually have an official localization. Um, I'm using a patched version which has a few minor bugs and nitpicks there, here and there that I'll get into throughout the Let's Play. Uh, there is also a definitive version of Chaos Head known as Chaos Head Noah, which uh, also does not feature a proper localization. So that's why I'm going to be doing the original Chaos Head, localized unofficially as it is right here and now. Now, uh, there is actually more to that text below the title there than meets the eye, because each entry in the Science Adventure series actually has a specific theme and or ordeal. For those of you who followed Steinsgate, you will know full well that the theme slash ordeal in Steinsgate is time, and more specifically, time travel. Chaos Head's ordeal slash theme involves reality and illusions. And blurring the line between the two is ultimately going to be at the very heart of this Let's Play adventure. If I just select the uh, options here, you can't see the mouse since it doesn't really have one, but um, a very interesting effect. It sounds like um, electronic clicking there and there plenty of wires uh, scrolling across the screen, giving it a very technical look. 
But yeah, there is more to Chaos Head than meets the eye, and things will get incredibly real the further we dive into the rabbit hole. If you thought that the ordeal that Rintaro Okabe faced in the events of Steinsgate and Steinsgate Zero, things are actually going to get a lot worse from here on out. So uh, feel free to uh, leave now and avert thine eyes, but for those of you who are in fact morbidly curious as to see what Chaos Head has to offer, I will remind you that you have been warned, both by me and the authors of this visual novel adventure. So now, without further ado, let us dive into the madness, the threshold that is Chaos Head.視線が空から降ってくる。その瞳はいつも僕を見つめていて、眼差しは熱くて真っ黒な雨雲を突き抜けて、雨のように僕へと降り注ぐ。僕を見るな。雨の冷たさより背中を預けている瓦礫の冷
無の中から浮かび上がってくるたった一つの言う「君は誰?」その肌が青白く見えるのは雨の冷たさに凍えているからそれとも君がもう死んでいるからでも彼女は震えていなかったそして前髪で隠れそうになっているその瞳は奥を見るなひどく悲しそうにも見える狂気じみているようにも見える何も映していないようにも見えるもしも世界には僕と彼女の二人だけしかいなくてこうしてお互いだけを永遠に見つめ合っていたら僕の世界は彼女の瞳に映るものだけになるのかな彼女の世界は僕の瞳に映るものだけになるのかな彼女の瞳に映るものは僕。僕の瞳に映るものは彼女そう考えると世界は途端に矮小化するねえ不意に僕の耳に届くとてもきれいなノイズ彼女はうなだれて両手を左右に広げるまるであの雨雲の上へ向けて飛び立とうとするかのようにあるいはこの雨すべてを受け止めようとするかのようにあなたは別に。うなだれた彼女の表情は僕の位置からもうかがい知ることができない雨の白幕の向こうで君はどんな顔をしている殺してあげる天使乱舞する光の羽は僕を祝福しているのかそれともああそうか理解したよそれで僕を殺してくれるんだねゆっくりと倒れている僕の前に彼女が膝をつくいまだに彼女はうなだれたまま僕の頭をそっと抱えてくる僕を見てくれないことに僕はほっとしてただ身を委ねた耳元でささやききれいなノイズでもよく聞こえない暖かくて柔らかくて優しくて甘美な感触それは麻酔のようで、不思議なことに、体の震えがゆっくりと収まっていく。彼女のかすかな鼻息が、僕の頬をくすぐる。とても甘い匂い。ふと、胸に圧迫感を覚えた。彼女の持っていた大きな剣が、僕の胸の皮膚を裂き、肉をえぐり、骨の間を縫い、ゆっくりと体の中に沈み込んできている。でも、彼女のキスという麻酔にかけられて
、もう痛みを感じない。こんなにも優しく殺してくれるから。不意に切なくなって、涙が溢れそうになって、それをごまかすために、彼女の頭越しに雨を落とし続けている、鈍色の空を見上げた。空が滲んでいるのは、雨のせい。涙のせいもうあの視線も感じないもう何もない薄れゆく意識の中で僕は空へと手を伸ばす誰か教えて僕たちのあの空はどこへ行ったんだろう The back wrist of the chair I was leaning against creaked, letting out a sound like a hoarse voice. So yeah, that was、uh, the introduction to Chaos Head. Very mysterious, very cryptic, and full of depths of hidden meaning and riddles yet to be uncovered. But that begs the question. Did everything that just transpired up until this point now 
up until this moment, was that a delusion, or reality, or something in between? That is a mystery that we'll have to wait until the next episode, or possibly even later. But for now, um, I'm going to uh, end the episode here. And, well, when we return adventurers, uh, we shall discover first and foremost where here is, and second, and just as importantly, also discern the identity of the main protagonist of Chaos Head. Because I can tell you one thing right now, it isn't Rintaro Okabe, if you've been paying attention so far. So without further ado, I shall see you all in the next episode of Let's Play Chaos Head. As always, dear adventurers, until next we meet.